Yeah, yeah, kind of a gray day today, and now you look outside, it's 515 and it's black. So Ugh. kind of a, some unfortunate news there, a sign of the times that we're obviously we're heading into winter. And if that doesn't do you for you, uh, temperatures will. We're still pretty mild right now, 40s and 50s along the lakefront especially, and then middle 40s as you travel inland. But you see those darker shades of blue peeking onto the corner of your screen where it's 39 in the Dells. That air is coming this way, so we're going to kind of do a weather 180 as we go throughout the next couple of days. We had a lot of clouds through the weekend. We get a lot of sunshine back through the week ahead, so that's the good news. Find the sunglasses. You'll want those not only tomorrow, but really Monday all the way through Friday. And also dig out the heavy jacket because with that sunshine, it's a very chilly air mass right now making its way in from Canada. So as you can imagine, we'll clear out the skies. But it's a pretty chilly one. Here's future forecast. We fast forward this to about eight, nine o'clock tonight. Notice the clouds have really thinned out by this point. Maybe noticed a little blue sky here or there last for about 10 minutes today and then it was gone. So we're going to continue the clearing trend, but look at these northwest winds and we're from 10 to 15 miles per hour, staying pretty gusty all the way through the overnight hours tonight. That's going to usher in both drier air to clear out the skies, but also much colder air. Here's your drive to work tomorrow morning. We'll have a lot of sunshine. We're dry, so some good news there, but it will be a chilly start to the day. Clouds do fill in as we go throughout the afternoon, so we'll have a sunny start. Then we'll be in and out of the clouds through the afternoon. At least we'll see some sunshine, but don't worry. There's plenty more opportunity to see that sun as we go throughout the week ahead. By 5 o'clock, we still have a north wind keeping us on the cool side as well as the clouds. So tomorrow, kind of that transition day, we see some sun, some cloud cover, more gray skies. But again, a lot of sun in the week ahead, like we've mentioned. Low temperatures tonight, once we clear out the skies, check this out, down into the 20s and 30s, especially inland, falling below that freezing mark. So for the overnight low tonight here in Milwaukee, we're going to go 32. But as you just saw, inland areas down into the 20s, clearing skies and a little breezy with those northwest winds. Tomorrow, 40, that's all we make it to. And wouldn't be surprised if some spots even stuck into the upper 30s. Some sunshine early and then clouds redeveloping as we go throughout the afternoon hours. Here's your seven-day forecast. Like we mentioned, there's a lot of sun Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But uh, you'll want to bundle up if you have any plans to enjoy the sunshine. 42 Tuesday and Wednesday, the warmest day there, Thursday at 45. And then as we head in towards the weekend, it looked like uh, we might can stay in the middle 40s last week, but it looks like uh, that warmer air is going to stay just south of us and keep us into the lower 40s all the way in through next weekend. So it's a, a big change from today. Nice to see the sunshine for sure. We were saying last night, at least we see the sun, and it's a little yeah. bit of a mental game, yes. I think. Yes. And so. I'm saying there's no snow on that forecast either, which yes. is, well, you know. Yeah, so we'll have to watch that little system uh, over the weekend. It looks like an overnight time frame. So as yeah. we know, the overnight low is now dipping below that freezing mark. So it could mix in, but it's a week out yet. So we'll Even with snow, as long as there's some sunshine, I'm, I'm okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <Josh. laughs>